Last time we took a look at Ancient Aliens Episode 1, featuring excellent desert-themed levels. The last level of the set sent the player off into outer space, and that's where Episode 2 picks up. The episode's opening map features a colourful tech base with cool neon colours as opposed to the desert biomes of the last set. Once you pick up the yellow key, you're greeted by a brand new enemy in Ancient Aliens, the Stealth Plasma Alien. They are invisible space soldiers until they start firing their plasma weapon at you. Two projectiles at a time, by the way. By themselves, they don't pose that much of a threat, but when they are all clumped together with other monster types, they have a way of always getting shots in on you. The section where you're on the moon is pretty awesome, and I love the detail of the pyramid up above, but map 10 is fairly standard stuff regardless. Not bad by any means, but it's just a solid opener, and nothing much really sticks out. The next level introduces the Alien Guardian, and these dudes are an absolute nightmare. They shoot out three Revenant homing fireballs, and in later stages, the Alien Guardian will be the monster who will end your runs. I still think they are an incredible addition to the enemy lineup and add such a great challenge to the player. That being said, they're really easy to kill and if you bunch up a few together and kill one, a chain reaction goes off where all of them explode. As for the level itself, it's pretty decent. The monster closets from episode 1 are back, right out of the gate with a revenant ready to swarm you. The alien guardians make their presence known as well, as I died when a group of them attacked me. The first couple of levels are just setting the stage for what's to come later, and for that reason, there isn't a whole lot to say yet. Map 13 ramps up the difficulty with this brutal archfile and hell knights action, and this fantastic fight with the imps and hell knights coming out of the portals. This is when Ancient Alien starts to turn up the heat, and I'm all for it. The different environments that are present in this level, like the purple cavern here, and the end section with the dimming lights and the demonic faces on the wall just staring at you. This level isn't the most memorable, but it's still pretty damn good, and it's a brutal reminder that Ancient Aliens isn't going to take it easy on you. That last fight with the imps was something special, and I'm so glad they always seem to include two full medkits in the level exit room, because that set piece was chaotic. Map 13 is definitely a step above the previous levels in the episode, but the best is yet to come. We've almost made it to the halfway point of the set, and map 14 is kinda more of the same as the last level. It's set in a big open courtyard with monsters attacking you from every side. There's plenty of arch files and projectile based enemies to take care of, and while yeah the combat is solid, it also doesn't cover new ground. When you flip the switch, there's a cool encounter with a horde of pinkies, hit scanners, and barons in this enclosed space. Skillsaw is a master at making tightly designed combat arenas, and this is one of the highlights of the level for me. The finale here is almost underwhelming compared to the rest of the map, with just a ton of imps to blow up accompanied by a spider mastermind who isn't the most dangerous enemy in the world. The following level is absolute chaos. Wormhole Junction is non-stop combat, and for players who love just one big intense combat zone, you will like this level a lot. This map kinda just speaks for itself, and it's one that you will either love or hate, depending on your taste in Doom levels. I loved the overall layout, and found it to be quite a challenge all the way through. When you're done with Wormhole Junction, it feels like you only survived, even though there are a bunch of Soul Spheres and Mega Spheres lying around. Map 15 contains the first secret exit of Ancient Aliens, where you can access Map 31, Grey Dwarf. Set on a desolate spaceship, this level was made by the WADS composer, and there's plenty of little areas to uncover. Yeah, this is more of an exploratory type of level, and just like with Wormhole Junction, your enjoyment of this map would depend on your Doom tastes. 
I love the atmosphere that the designer was trying to conjure up with Grey Dwarf, and I think the emptiness of some of these bigger rooms on the ship really work. This isn't a level that I'd want to play all the time, as I prefer the more action-packed Plutonia-esque levels. It was also probably best left as a secret map, since it's tonally very different to anything we've seen so far, but I do love what Grey Dwarf is going for here. For the super secret level, I get huge Vi Flesh Consumed vibes from this starting outside area with the white rocky textures. This level is pretty distinct from the rest, and I'm a fan of it, even though it isn't the most difficult map in the Megawad. I mean sure, there's a few arch files and tricky encounters here and there, but nothing will make you want to rip your hair out. The standout moment of the level though is this yellow key bridge area, featuring Hell Knights and pesky Arachnatron snipers. I fucking love this little set piece, and it makes the whole level for me. The most ambitious level in Ancient Aliens is up next. There are four completely unique worlds you can explore using your spaceship, and this is incredible work by Skillsaw. An ice planet, a fire planet, and a purple rocky planet with a tech base. All of these worlds are distinct, and the effort that the designer put into this level is unbelievable. The ice planet is crawling with chain gunners and revenants, and there's not much cover or room to maneuver, making this combat encounter really tough for first time players. The fire world is my favourite part of the level, the terrain is quite detailed, and shooting rockets at these clusters of monsters is awesome. Each planet never overstays its welcome, and this is Gilsaw's finest contribution to the Megawad so far. Map 16 is beautiful, epic, and like I said earlier, the most ambitious level yet. The penultimate level of the episode is more moody in tone. This map looks oppressive, and right away you're welcomed by Arachnatron snipers on top of this high-tech castle. The castle is guarded by a cyber demon and plenty of fodder demons too, and while this map doesn't reach the heights of map 16, it is still a fun little combat-focused experience. The final level of episode 2 is an icon of Sin map strangely enough, with a massive pyramid in the centre. It's revealed that the aliens are working with the Illuminati, and the goal of this level is to enter your spaceship again, until it crash lands in the following episode. Killing all of the enemies is not the focus here, instead you just run like crazy to grab all of the keys, and yeah, this is a pretty creative way to round off the episode. Episode 2 is not as compelling as episode 1 in my opinion, but there's still a lot to like, and the highs of this episode eclipse the standout maps of the first set. My favourite levels in this episode are map 15, map 16, and map 32. I'm very much looking forward to the final stretch of Ancient Aliens. Episode 3, You're the Alien Now.